In this module, we will talk about uh, the fermentation economics. When we talk about the fermentation, then is the ultimate goal is the production of any product. If is that is market value. So, just to have the market value, the fermentation economics that whole economics of the fermentation process is very, very critical. Because the overall product cost is the ultimate goal of the fermentation process. So, if we keep in mind all the factors that involve the fermentation economics start from the culture two different ingredient, then we can have a very ideal fermentation process. So, let us see what are the factors that involve in fermentation economics. So, if the fermentation process as I have already told is a yield is to yield the product as a competitive price, the chosen microorganism or animal cell culture should give the desired end product in predictable and economically adequate quantities. So, a number of basic objectives are commonly used in developing a successful process which will be economically viable. So, as concerned the first objective is the capital investment in the fermenter and some auxiliary equipment should be confined to the minimum provide that the equipment is reliable and may be used in a range of fermentation process. If you remind when we are talk about uh, the design and the fabrication of the fermenter at that time we discuss the 13 different basic um, point. So, that is the capital investment is at that time is the main. So, as concerned the raw material should be cheap as possible as. So, if you remind when we are talking about the media formulation and we discuss the different material. So, one criteria is that should be cheaper. So, here so the third one is the that is the highest yielding strain of the microorganism or animal cell culture should be used. Then again remind when we are talking about the selection of the organism. So, then this is the criteria at that time. So, as concerned the fourth there should be a saving in labor whenever possible and automation should be used where it is feasible. So, if the automation is feasible then we have to go on that just to reduce the cost. So, when a bench process is operated the growth cycle should be short as possible to obtain the highest yield of the product and allow a maximum utilization of the equipment. So, if the fermentation time incubation time is very prolonged then that is not suitable. So, if the life cycle as the cell cycle of that uh, organism is short we have to select those microorganisms who have a short cycle. So, to achieve this objective it may be possible to use the fed cultures. So, the recovery and the purification procedures should be as simple and rapid as possible. So, as concerned the effluent discharge should be kept to a minimum, heat and power consumption should be used efficiently, space requirement should be kept to minimum, but there should be a sum allowance for the potential expansion in the production capacity. As concerned the tenth that is all of the bus must comply with the safety guidelines and the regulation which we called as containment regulations. So, the consideration of the so many criteria means that there may be may have to be compromise for a particular set of circumstances relating to an individual process. Sometime when we talk about some specific project we have to maintain our strategy at that time. So, as concerned the fermentation technologist should be aware of the problem of assessing the market potential. Although he she may not be primary involved in collating or assessing the necessary data. So, it is necessary to estimate the size of the present and the potential market and increase in the demand for a compound. 
Hepner in 1978 has examined the factor that determine the feasibility of the large scale ethanol production by fermentation. He considered that the ethanol produced by the fermentation would only be competitive with the synthetic ethanol from crude oil. So, if the fermentation plant was in an area where the cheap supplies of carbohydrates then that is only feasible. So, as concerned the Stovall and uh, the Birson in 1984 identify a number of factors contributing to these costs. So, as concerned one is the yield losses even if not modest are certain to occur at the stage of the recovery process. High energy and the maintenance cost associated with the running filtration and the certification equipment, high cost of the solvent and other raw material used in the recovery of the process. So, if we look into the whole process then as we have seen in our uh, media formulation that uh, the raw materials involve the cost 30 to 70 percent of that and the remaining are the overheads. Apart from the overhead then there is a maintenance cost, effluent treatment cost, recovery or the purification cost all cost should be very considerable and very significant factor while considering the fermentation economics. So, the overall fermentation process if we talk about the industrial process that is only feasible when the fermentation economics allow. Keep in mind the local rules and regulation which I called the legislation of that country where the fermentation industry is. So, this is the whole story of the fermentation and the fermentation process.